Hi, my name is Jonathan Nightingale. I work on the Firefox team here at Mozilla, and I want to take a couple minutes just to explain the security features that we put into the browser and show you how they work. So the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is a feature we call phishing detection. We've all gotten these emails in the past. They look like they come from your bank or, or from a, a website that you've shopped at before that say, uh, there's been some problem with your account, we're going to have to lock you out unless you show up right now and, and give us your username and your password and all your personal information. And of course, it's, it's not really from your bank. It's, it's a scam. Um, there are some bad guys out there who send these emails to everyone trying to convince you to go to a website that looks exactly like your bank's website. You know, they've, they've forged everything perfectly, uh, but it's, it's just designed to steal your information. They're going to get your usernames and passwords, and they're going to use it to try and empty out your bank account or, or buy things online and have it shipped to them. Firefox keeps track of all the scam sites that have been reported. And when you click on that link in your email or, or that instant message that came in from somebody you don't recognize, uh, instead of bringing you to that page, which is a forgery and which is going to look just like the real thing, it's going to be really hard to spot. Instead, we show you this bright red warning page that says, we think the thing you're going to is actually a scam. You know, it's a web forgery. When you see that warning, my recommendation to you is, is not to go to the site. It's, it's probably not what you think it is. But you know, the bad guys on the internet are getting smarter too. So not only are they sometimes pretending to be your bank, sometimes they're actually trying to attack your computer directly. So instead of trying to trick you into giving away personal information, they just try to hack into your machine. And so Firefox has this second set of protections built in that we call malware protection. Uh, and what that does is it keeps track of all the sites that are known to try these kind of attacks, that are trying to, to hack in. And when you try to visit one of those sites, you'll see a similar error message that says, careful, this is an attack site, right? This site is trying to attack your computer. And if it succeeds, you might not know that anything went wrong, but it could be that now you've got a, a virus or something installed, uh, and that's just no fun for anyone. So we try to make sure you know about it. The tricky thing here is that sometimes the sites that you're visiting are sites that you've gone to in the past and everything's been fine. So when you see that warning, you've got to be really careful. Even if you know the people who run that site and you think they're trustworthy, it could still be that there's a problem. The safest bet is just to go somewhere else for a while, you know, read a, read a safe site, and trust that if that site really is legitimate, uh, they're going to they're gonna clean up the, the mess and they're going to get off the list and you'll be able to visit them in the future. All of this is turned on by default. As soon as you install Firefox, you're getting these protections for free. They're just, they're, they're built in and they're automatic. And the other important thing is uh, they kick in before you've even visited the site. And remember, these attack sites don't care which browser you're using. You know, if Firefox warns you that the, the site you're about to visit has been reported as one that's trying to attack you, uh, it's not a safe bet to go there with some other browser. It's going to try to attack you no matter what. Another question I get is, uh, what about files that I download to my local machine? In that case, if you're on Windows, Firefox actually integrates with whatever antivirus program you've already got installed. So uh, no matter what brand it is, uh, if, if you've installed an antivirus program on your machine, uh, Firefox will pass every downloaded file through there. So no matter what it is that you uh, find on the web, if, if you're choosing to save a copy to your hard drive, as soon as it's done downloading, your antivirus will be triggered and it can scan it and make sure it's okay before you open it. So in addition to that, if you're on a shared computer or you want to make sure that all the information that Firefox stores is locked up tight, there is a feature called the master password that you can set up. And now the first time you go to use Firefox, Firefox will say, wait, please enter the master password. So that's like a, a combination lock to just make sure that none of the information that Firefox stores is available to anybody else who happens to sit down at your computer. One feature you may not have noticed uh, when you're browsing around online, sometimes you'll go to a site uh, where you want to do some shopping. And normally when you look up at the top of the browser, you'll see uh, the web address, and beside that you'll see the little, the little logo. Um, but on some sites, you'll see that that actually, that section of the browser gets bigger uh, and it turns green. That's called the site identity button. If you notice that up there and you click on it, I can see the name of the company, I can see where they're based, I can see uh, who verified that information, and it also tells me that my connection to the website is encrypted. On some sites, you'll notice that the site identity button turns blue. Blue just means that they've provided a basic level of information, so you know that you're connecting to the website you think you are. Uh, they just haven't provided all the extended information that's available when the, when the button turns green. Now remember, for a lot of the web, it doesn't really matter that the site is identifying itself and protecting everything. I mean, you're not exchanging confidential information when you're reading the news. 
But when you're shopping and you might be sending your credit card information across, or if you're uh, looking at your employer website and, and looking at your pay stubs and things, that's when you want to make sure that uh, your information is protected. And that's when it's important that you check the site identity button uh, to confirm that. So the last thing I want to mention in terms of keeping yourself safe online, and, and maybe the most important, is to make sure that you keep your software up to date. For little security issues, Firefox will take care of things automatically. Uh, when a new version of Firefox is available, that's when you'll be asked, you know, is this something that you want to install? I recommend that you do though, because it makes sure that you'll always have the, the newest and best Firefox experience. So that's it. Thanks a lot for listening. Uh, I hope you stay safe online, and if you've got any questions or you want more information, or if you are interested in downloading Firefox, just head on over to firefox.com.